Hey everybody, welcome to Facebook Live. I'm so glad you got to be with us and I have a special guest here with me. Hello. Jesse Deere. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John Deere and this is our biggest announcement ever and we are super excited. I, I want to welcome all of our replay viewers. If you're catching this after the fact, we, uh, we appreciate your coming and watching as well. And we'd like to ask you if you, if you don't mind to share this because this is our biggest announcement ever. Now, here's the thing though, we're gonna start off with something a little bit smaller as opposed to doing our biggest announcement. Uh, we had an incredible busy year. Both my sons, Jesse and James, have been on the road with me and there's no bigger blessing than that. I get to work with my boys and I get to travel with my boys and they get to see what, what do you call me? The uh, the juvenile. Which, which name are we going with? Whichever <laughs> one you want. I, I'm, He's a bit of a man child uh, yeah, okay. in a good way. <laughs> so we're actually having lots of fun together. I, I'm actually able to act like a 13 year old, which is really, really cool. But uh, we did have a really busy year. We were on the road, we did tons of events. And for those of you who did get a chance to catch us at one of our live events, just give us a, a little you know, thumbs up, a heart, or just comment. Uh, we really try our best to edutain you guys. And as I always say in my events, uh, it's really important that uh, we have fun doing it. So I, I hope that comes across and I hope you guys had fun as well. Uh, some of the things I wanna share off the, the get-go is we do have five events that are scheduled for the springtime. And we are switching things up a little bit this year. Mm -hmm. This year we did a lot of dealer events and we did our uh, Digitizers Dream Workshops mm -hmm. and they were a lot of fun. Uh, this year we're not gonna be doing any dealer events. We are actually going back to the consumer shows. And we love the consumer shows because we have a booth there and we get to visit with you know hundreds and thousands of people and of course, I, I have one rule at these shows when we go and attend is I like to teach because if we teach, uh, it generally brings people to the booth and we have a better show and we can talk to people and have a fun time. Mm -hmm. So to give you a, a quick uh, outline, it is actually on our 2020 event schedule on our site, but we have some consumer shows coming up and the first one is one that I've never taught at before which is actually the Road to California show. We did an event there a couple years ago, and it was a great event, yeah. uh, but we're actually doing uh, the uh, same event, but we're actually doing classes, and we are doing digitizing classes at all of these shows that I'm gonna mention, but they're three hour long classes, so it's a hands-on kind of crash course digitizing. Obviously, there's only so much we can teach in three hours, but they're still you know, good to get a good solid foundation. And the uh, other classes are geared to embroidery. We are adding one really cool class this year, and that is one that is geared specifically to doing quilting within software. And for those of you who uh, you know, are in our Hatchfacts group or you are a Hatch owner, you know that I've created ESA elements that are specifically geared to doing uh, quilting, but doing it in a matter of minutes. So we're gonna have a whole class geared around that and show people how to make a quilt in half an hour, which yep. is pretty cool. Uh, and we'll have lots and lots of samples there. So we're gonna be at uh, Road to California, and that's January 23rd to the 26th. And we're gonna be at the Sewing and Stitchery Expo, of course, because uh, you've been with us now for six years, I think, Jess? Yeah, so, been uh, a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Years, yeah. And that was one of the first shows that you did with me, was the yeah. Sewing and Stitchery. And we do that one every single year. Uh, my son James, who is actually behind the scenes over there, he's controlling everything for us. Uh, he's at those shows as well. James actually gave a class uh, a couple times. Actually, I think he's, we're going to get a... There, he popped in. Okay, so James uh, <laughs> is here as well, and he's looking over your questions. So any questions, he'll be uh, letting us know. But that show is February 27th to March 1st this year. And again, digitizing classes, uh, other classes that we're doing. And keep in mind that our digitizing classes and most of our other classes do sell out, so you will want to try to secure a spot with uh, those shows as, you know, sooner than later. And then we are going back and doing all the original Sew and Quilt Expos, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we've done those in years past, and they're always great fun, and we, we love the, the people who run the shows there. Yeah. And uh, we're giving digitizing classes as well as others. We're gonna be doing Atlanta in March, I think it's the 12th to the 14th, and then we go straight to uh, Lakeland, Florida, and we're gonna be doing that one March 19th to 21st, and then the last one is uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and that one is gonna be April uh, the 2nd to 4th. 
So those are the five shows that we actually have uh, geared for the springtime. And uh, that is what we have sort of on the list right now. Now, one thing that we do get a lot of emails for and a lot of, I guess, messages that come through, and I've kind of been, uh, how can I say this? I've been holding back on giving a reply, and you're going to find out why very soon, but people have been asking us when, or when and where are we going to be doing our digitizing workshops. If you've had a chance to attend one of our Digitizer's Dream workshops, uh, please comment right now, let us know where you're from, and hopefully you had a great time. We've learned a ton of stuff in two days, and those are kind of what we specialize in. Uh, we sell out pretty much every workshop that we do, and we generally have between 50 and up towards 90 people at a workshop. Mm -hmm. And they are great because they're hands-on. Um, and you know they're, they're just one of the, the best things that we do because we are kind of known for teaching people how to digitize. Um, here's the deal. Uh, we actually don't have any digitizing workshops that are scheduled for 2020. There's no locations that we're gonna be at. And that's always something we get asked is, you know, can we come to Cleveland or can we come to you know Tulsa Oklahoma and usually we get bombarded with locations where people would like us to be and we can't be everywhere at once so that's uh, kind of the thing we just thought well this year we're just gonna hold back and we're really not gonna do any of the digitizing workshops so here is our big news <coughs> for 2020 the big announcement is we are literally going to be everywhere in 2020. Uh, we are going to be doing what we call our new virtual digitizers dream workshop. And we do have a little video that we created. It's a couple minutes long. And I'd like to play that for you right now because it'll give you an idea of exactly how this is going to work because there is a real uh, live interactive part of this series and it's actually backed up with classes that you do as well. So if you just want to watch for a few minutes and you can see how this works and we'll come back after we do this and we'll give you more details. Imagine being able to easily turn any piece of artwork into a custom embroidery design for your friends, family, customers, or even just yourself. This process is called digitizing. And if you want to learn how to easily create your own custom embroidery designs, I've got something perfect for you. Hi, I'm John Deere, the world's most awarded digitizer and owner of Embroidery Legacy. And I'm proud to announce the release of our very first online hands-on digitizers dream workshop. This online workshop will teach you a foundation of the age-old theory and rules behind creating smooth running embroidery designs. We've run this workshop in major cities across the world for the past three years and have taught hundreds of embroiderers how to digitize, which is why we have proven results. Now I realize it's not always possible to travel and book two days off to learn this beautiful art. So thankfully, you can now attend from the comfort of your own home. If you want to start the new year off by learning a new skill that'll take your embroidery to a whole new level, then you won't want to miss out on this online workshop and our early bird special pricing. But don't take my word for it. Here's what past workshop attendees have had to say. I finally have software that I like, but I don't like the training. And I really enjoyed what John told us about the basics, the underlying principles that will make my embroidery better. I feel like at this point, I'm going to be able to go home and take my latest software that I, I've had for two years and never really got good at and be able to use it. I'm loving it. I've gone from somebody who didn't think machine embroidery was the thing from me, I'm a free motion and quilter, to all my friends laughing at me saying, you're spending hours digitizing now. So I've become completely converted. It's really great. I'm a beginner in embroidery, the whole sewing scene, and this has made me believe that I can be a digitizer. He's made it very simple, concise. Love the whole program. Take a class, whether you're a very, very beginner or more further along like my friend is, she has left it too. It's been wonderful. John has really enhanced the class a lot for myself. Uh, I'm able to really do some digitizing that my wife will be very proud of me. I have enjoyed it immensely and I have learned more in the last two days than I have learned in the last several years combined. He is a wonderful instructor. He makes it very easy. He makes it very clear 
and I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'd recommend anybody that has a remote interest in it to give it give it a shot. Answer all the questions, patient, patient, patient man, and when it, it was a phenomenal experience. I recommend it to everyone. I think it's great. I've taken several digitizing classes from digitizers, big digitizers. Um, by far, this is the best one. It was wonderful. I also teach digitizing type of software for the long arm and some other computerized software packages. And John did an excellent job of making it understandable for the beginner, as well as throwing out some challenges to people that have been doing the digitizing for a little bit longer. Absolutely wonderful. So many light bulb moments today. I always make so much from you every class I come to. Everyone's got to come and do a John Deere workshop. It's one thing to buy an embroidery design online. It's something else entirely to create one from scratch yourself using artwork that means something special to you, a customer, or a loved one. If you want to learn how to easily create your own custom embroidery designs and get past the learning curve quickly, enroll now and take advantage of the Early Bird Special today. I hope to see you there. Okay, now we love that video. The only thing is every time John watch it, I can, watches it, I can see his head growing a little bit. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do about that? Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, we, we are just super, super excited about this. This is something that we've been working on for over a year. Uh, I'll, I'll give a little bit of the reason why we did this and have developed it the way that we have specifically. Uh, the first thing that we always get asked is, does this apply to other software programs? And I've always said to people that my education, which is theory based, does apply to any brand of software because all of the stitch types and properties and push and pull compensation, the way you create a design is the same in every software program. But I did learn years ago, and it's actually 15 years ago, was the first time I ever did a hands-on digitizing class. And it was a great idea because we actually decided to do a digitizer's dream cruise. And we had uh, 20 odd people show up and everybody came on two days, or actually it was two and a half days of teaching, and everybody brought their own software program. And I assumed at that point, 15 years ago, when people spent a couple of thousand dollars on a software program, that they actually knew where the basic tools would be. And I very quickly found out that wasn't the case. I, uh, I ended up actually running around this round table getting you know my workout because uh, most of the people didn't know where the basic buttons were. So I actually vowed after that, and I said this to my wife Jennifer, I'm never going to do that again. And then I said the next year, let's try it again, but we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to all use a demo version of a program, and that way what I'm teaching, they're visually seeing the same tools being used. So we do have uh, compliments of Wilcom. Uh, the Hatch program will be used for this event, but the theory that's being taught can be applied to whatever brand you have. And that also does coincide with the education within our three levels of our course that we teach. Those, those are specifically taught in all three, or sorry, ten different software programs. Mm. But all three levels have the exact same theory for all the different programs. Uh, is there a difference between this and those lessons? I, I'd kind of like to say so because that's one thing people have really loved about our you know live classes is that interaction and you know some some of the the humor that goes into it and some of that that uh, you know I guess the the part where somebody's actually communicating with you live and that's where we were kind of wondering how could we make this happen now I, I will also be honest and this is in no way to criticize anybody because when people are in the learning process or if they sign up for one of our classes generally we have people who are just beginning I mean some people have, have never even you know digitized anything correct yeah, yeah. yeah. and go ahead well, some people buy their computers you know one or two days before just to give you a bit of an idea which is a, a bad thing but it makes it extra brand fun. new yeah. yeah brand new some people have barely embroidered and so we have people that are brand new never digitized barely embroidered you know in their lives and then we have on the other side of the spectrum 
people who have been digitizing for years. So in any live class setting, we always get both sides there at the same time. And to be honest, as an educator, we have to try our best to uh, give valuable information to the people who do know a lot, because if they don't get that, they're going to get bored very quickly. And that has happened on occasion, you know, where somebody has 10 years of digitizing experience. And usually when I talk to them afterwards, I'll say, well, you know, did anything stand out to you? And 99% of the time they say, well, I picked up a couple things that I didn't know before. And if you've been doing something for a long time, if you, you know, learn a couple of new things, it does make everything worthwhile. Mm -hmm. But we do have uh, the other people that might be brand new and some of them might not know computers that well. I mean, that's the other side of it. And as an educator, you're always kind of teaching to the lowest denominator. You, you try to keep things going, but it makes it a little bit more difficult. And that is where I always tell people it's always, always best to learn at your own pace and on your own time. And I think this is going to solve that problem completely. Mm. And I think that this is going to actually give people a much better experience than having two days where they're actually there live. Um, the, the other reason is, and we know this, and there's no way to get around this, because when we do these uh, events at hotels, it is a little costly. And we do do it right. You know, we, we actually have it in a nice location, we feed people, we try to you know, make sure there's a big screen, the audio is good. But that all costs money, and the price of that, and so that we can obviously make it a successful event, the cost can be up there as far as the dollar amount. Usually, what has it been in the past? Uh, generally, three ninety nine. Three ninety nine for a two day live event, and then we always have the factors in there where a lot of people travel. Some people actually fly to the location, mm -hmm. and a lot of people will drive there. And then you're taking two days of your time, which is very valuable, to have to come. And then you might have your accommodations, and then you know you can. Uh, eat uh, during the event but you know if you want to take some food left over for your room that's fine but generally people go out to dinner mm -hmm. and it can be an experience that can actually cost a thousand dollars to come yeah. and do a two-day event so there's the cost side of it and also the location side of it that is also makes it uh, not a, a problem but it just doesn't make it as accessible to people as we would like it to be yeah so. we, we basically figured you know instead of you coming to us and you know like john said the time commitment the financial commitment all that stuff hey why don't we just come to you and we're better a place than you know your living room yes here on your screen right in front of you there's still the live element we're going to have live webinars um you can still interact ask questions mm -hmm. it's it's going to be a great experience yeah we actually have set it up so that there will be three live webinars within a two-week period so on a Saturday, which actually the first event is going to be on February the 8th. On a, on a Saturday, we will have a live webinar, and you will be invited to the webinar, and in that webinar, we will go over theory, we'll be going over introductions of the designs that you'll be doing over that first week, and uh, pretty much everything you need. We've The good news is, I've done enough of these classes, and I'm probably thinking about, a th in, in the last 15 years, I've probably done hundreds of digitizing classes that I kind of have it down packed at this point and we will give you everything that you need to basically learn on your own time so after we have that two hour uh, interaction where I tell you the theory I give you the designs that we're going to do and I'm going to tell you what you are going to complete in them then in your classroom you'll have all of those lessons there for you to work through and uh, the good news is if you can't make the webinar, they will be recorded. So yep. you can catch them any time that you want. And you can watch it again if you want to, you know, go over the information if it wasn't 100% clear the first time. Uh, then the second Saturday, we will have another live webinar where you will come and we will actually assess all of the designs that we have done within the first session and uh, go over them and any questions you might have we'll go over that and then we'll spend the second part of the live session and we will actually go over the next part of the designs and we do have uh, I think how many was it is there six or seven different designs from being then I do have them all finished uh, it's been a very you know busy time for us in getting all these together but they do include you know, uh, running stitch, uh, we have stem stitches that we're doing, a lot of mapping techniques, satin stitches, two different designs. We have uh, fill stitches. We have designs that are going to be doing blending with fills. 
and all of this happens within a two week period. Now the fun part is going to be when we tie things up on our third webinar, that is the graduation day and that's what I'm looking forward to because you will go over any remaining questions that you have with what we've done over the course uh, and then we will basically give you some you know, ideas of how we want to go to the next level. That is probably one of the other questions that I get, you know, actually almost at every event, and this is especially from people who are more advanced, mm -hmm. is they're always asking me, do you have advanced classes? And do you have classes on digitizing lace? And, you know, things of that nature. And, and I've pretty much always said, no, that's really not a good idea, but maybe I'll think about it in the future. Well, I honestly think this is now the solution. Uh, if somebody is going to take an advanced class, in my opinion, they really should have a foundation and they should have done the work to get to the level of being able to do an advanced class. I mean, you don't uh, have somebody buy a car and have no driving experience and just say, okay, go for it. You want to give them some lessons and make sure they're, they're qualified first. Yep. So we are going to basically have advanced lessons. These are, are coming. They are actually, two of them are already done, uh, but the thing is, I do not want anybody to purchase an advanced lesson if they haven't completed our foundational education. Yeah. Because it, it's just asking for trouble. And, and give me a thumbs up if you could agree with that. You know, I mean, it really is helpful to have a really solid foundation, and then we can do designs that have advanced mapping and blending and freestanding lace where you have to think about, you know, where you were, where you are, and where you're going all at the same time. And that can get confusing. And it doesn't matter what software you own, the principles are always the same. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to that. I mean, keep in mind, our end goal is to make sure that you uh, are going to be the best embroiderer you can possibly be. So we just want to make sure, I mean, where this course really differs from, I guess, the Digitizer's Dream course that we have online is it's a crash course. If you're looking to see if digitizing is for you, mm -hmm. um, I mean, hey, this is perfect for you. It's only a two-week investment. Um, the price is very affordable, and we're going to give you the basics mm -hmm. in a very concise manner. Yeah. Um, well, while we're on that, Jesse, what is the price? If you don't mind my well, John, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so actually we're running a, an early bird special. Uh, so as John said, usually our live workshops are about $399. Mm -hmm. uh, this one we're actually doing for $179. However, uh, what we decided is if you do order before December 31st, you do enroll. Uh, we're actually going to give you, I think it's 54% off. 54% off. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can actually enroll for only $83, which is, you know, really a fraction of the price of what you would pay if you did come to attend one of these physical workshops. Yeah, and uh, keep in mind, uh, if you have taken the workshop before, these are completely different designs. In my opinion, they are a little bit more detailed and advanced because I'm able to teach them in a setting where I don't have to work as uh, quickly and try to cater to the lowest denominator. So the theory will be in there. Now the other good part is I know that time does get in the way sometimes and that's why we have the uh, webinars uh, actually recorded. But even the classes within this virtual digitizing workshop, they uh, will remain in your classroom for three months after the workshop ends. So you can go back and continue to do those lessons yeah. and refine yeah. your skills. Our, our goal is to make you the best you can possibly be and, and hopefully, and I'm, I'm hoping to get some positive affirmation, if there's any of you who have done our education in the past or you've attended a workshop, uh, you know, give us a, a thumbs up if the education that we uh, provide is, if you feel it's worth value, because I, I know that there is YouTube out there and there is a ton of stuff for free and there is sometimes a bit of a difference between what I would consider, uh, I guess, education that actually has some value to it and potentially the free stuff. Now, I'm really hoping that this price point, you know, $83 for a two-week workshop, in essence, is a, a great value for the, for the money. And I, I honestly feel that it is. So, yeah. um, now, here's the other thing. I've also learned over the years that people love the word free. So... Uh, we know that we have a lot of comments that have come in during this 
And I just want you to know that we're going to pick one person randomly right before we wrap this up. One person is going to be the very first seat to the workshop. So yeah. uh, somebody here is going to do that as well. And Jesse, well, we'll, you... Uh, while we're on the topic of free, um, John and I sometimes like to play a little game where he says things and I say, I say you shouldn't have said that or vice versa. So, hey, this might be one of those times, but I think another fun contest that we could do is uh, maybe draw a membership or something for whoever, um, I guess, enrolls before the weekend's over and give away something else for you? Well, you said it live, so that's, I guess, what's <laughs> going to happen. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so uh, so what were you thinking of giving away, Jesse? Uh, how about a diamond membership? Okay, so uh, a diamond membership, if we do get some people who enroll, I guess, from now until the end of the weekend, yep. uh, we'll also draw one person. We'll, we'll post their name on Facebook, yep. and you will get a bonus membership to our designs. We have yeah. 26,300 and some odd designs to choose from that are all very well digitized, I will add. Uh, but that is what I want to teach people, is how to digitize quality designs. Yeah. And a, a diamond membership, by the way, does give you 50 design downloads every month for a full year. Uh, as John said, from over 26,000 designs, and it's a $217 value. Okay, so, so that's, a, that's yeah. a pretty good price. 80, yeah. 83 bucks and you potentially get 217 back. Okay, that works. Yep. That's good math. I like that kind of math. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, if anybody has any questions uh, with exactly how this works, uh, please, James will pipe up and let us know. Has there been any any comments? Are you guys excited about this? Do we do we get some thumbs up? And as I said, the first uh, actual webinar, the live webinar, is going to be on February the 8th, and we will run it two times actually that day. Uh, Jesse yeah. just informed me. Remember we were just saying about him doing stuff and telling me afterwards this is one of well, those situations. The reasoning behind this is I, I actually saw at the very start one lady did comment, I can finally attend from Norway. Um, we know we have a lot of global followers and we appreciate you and respect you and we want to make sure the experience is, well, great for you too. So we figured we It might not be great at 3 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be great at 3 in the morning. So we're actually going to do the um, the live webinars twice every time that we do them. One, uh, I guess, more so Australian time, one more so uh, US time or North American time. Uh, just to make sure that everyone can ask questions, can learn, can get all well, the most out of their experience. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the following two Saturdays after that, we will have the other two live webinars. Uh, we also have created a, a Facebook group specifically for people attending these workshops, and they will be. Uh, obviously monitored during the workshop. We have other Facebook groups as well once those are kind of done. Mm -hmm. uh, but we want to make sure that we make this as accessible to asking questions even during the period that we're not live. Yeah. And that, that'll be our, our goal as well. Uh, so anyways, any other questions coming in, James? Everybody seems super excited. Yay, I'm super excited <laughs> too. Uh, the best news is, and I'm just, I'm just going to be honest about this, I. I actually think I am coming really close to uh, hitting 80,000 air miles this year. And uh, that is a lot of miles. So uh, we are kind of hoping in a way this might be a little bit selfish. We're still going to be out there doing events, but I would love to be off the road a little bit more to be with my beautiful wife, Jennifer, and I get to work with my sons. And we get a lot more done when we're actually yeah. in one place. Uh, so this is going to be a win-win for everybody. And, and a win for you, too, because yeah. the more we're at home, the more we're going to film new free YouTube videos, That's the more right. we're going to film, you know, release new blogs, more content for you to, well, enjoy. We, we have very big plans this coming year. A lot of videos, actually. James is heading back to uh, Costa Rica with me on Friday, and he's going to be there for seven weeks, and we are just have a tight schedule of shooting lots of upcoming videos for YouTube. And uh, again, we, we love suggestions. If you have suggestions on things you'd like us to cover, uh, we have been, at, I guess, had a lot of requests for doing more specifics on just embroidery related things, like you know, yeah. doing cut work and appliques and showing the process. So we are definitely going to be doing a lot more of uh, hands-on type stuff with regards to our YouTube videos. And of course, we'll still continue to focus on the digitizing side of it, but we're going to be getting a little more creative there as well. We got some, uh, can I say, funny stuff coming up? 
Yeah, yeah. Like maybe <laughs> maybe my boys convinced me to dress up in cotton. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's going to be lots and lots of fun. Um, well, I, other than that, do you uh, see anything specifically, James, that I can answer? Um, I just let them know that a lot of the questions that are being asked are available on the on the page. Uh, okay. So one of the questions is, uh, if you're not home during that day, can the sessions be watched after? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. They'll actually remain in your classroom section for three months after the... Uh, and that includes the webinars. The yes. webinars yeah. you'll be able to view, so yes, you will have access to them. And that really is the beauty of this whole thing, is there's very little pressure time-wise on keeping up with everything. Uh, another question is, will there be a max number of attendees? Um, this is an interesting one. We are going to actually um, pay money to make sure that we use a, uh, I guess, a reputable, reputable webinar company to make sure you get fast streaming, like Netflix quality. Um, so we haven't, we've looked at them, but we don't know the pricing tiers well, exactly. I, I know the pricing tiers because I have looked into it. I have made my choice. This is, Jesse and I have been incredibly busy and we sort of delegated responsibilities and jobs. <laughs> so I, I know exactly who we're going to use. And basically the way it works is uh, based on the number of attendees that we have potentially for the webinar, you pay for that level of service. So to be honest, we could handle literally, you know, hundreds or thousands of people and still have the exact same experience, whether it's 10 or whether it's a thousand. So that's the, the beauty of this as well. And of course, we will be monitoring things uh, and have staff you know, there to make sure that all the questions are answered. Yep. So, yeah, so that'll be, that'll be fun. All right, let's take a look for one more. Will the, will the free version of Hatch suffice? Um, absolutely. Yes. So uh, actually, within the sign up, just so you know, when you do sign up there, we've, Jesse set this up really well. It gives you all of the information that you'll need when you sign up. We have a couple of questions regarding what, you know, we don't ask which software you own, but as far as Hatch, because we are giving you a full feature trial version, which I really love because that means that you can do the class mm -hmm. and you can create the design, but let's be honest, the proof is always in the stitching. You, you know, you can see something on screen and it means absolutely nothing. It's how soft the embroidery is and that's how you, you determine if it's a good design and how few trims are all that good stuff. So we are giving a, uh, a demo version, so to speak, of Hatch, but it is actually a, I guess, uh, a, a key that we'll be sending you that will give you activation or an activation for the software during the period of the class, but it is completely full feature. And we know that a lot of you are, you know, a lot of you will have other programs other than Hatch. Our goal is that you get the most out of this experience because you are seeing and doing exactly what I'm doing within the program that you're working with. Yeah, and that so. really is the key for accelerated learning. Exactly. So once again, if you do own, own another program, that's not an issue. You will be using Hatch for the class, but everything you learn can be applied to whatever program you currently use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know my background, the only stitch I had when I started at the age of 17 was a manual stitch that went back and forth like this. And we created a beautiful embroidery designs 35 you know, years ago. And we do to this day because of the theory, not necessarily the software that's being used. So I, uh, sorry. sorry. Nope, sorry about that. Uh, I do see Angela commented in the hoop. Um, James will put up a link to the, um, I guess, URL, the page so that you can visit, sign up. One thing that it does say on there, and this is just a little bit of a teaser, there will be some bonus lessons mm -hmm. that we're going to give to you for signing up. Uh, one of those will be in the hoop related. Yes, yeah, it um, will be an in the hoop related. So yeah, if you want to learn how to kind of make some in the hoop things, this yes. will be a great intro for you. Yeah, in, in the hoops, uh, generally to be honest, uh, most in the hoop projects are relatively easy by digitizing standards. It's just knowing your software. So we'll include some extra bonus materials that you can play with, and uh, you know these are not particularly covered in the class because it is digitizing related and learning all of the theory and properties. But okay. we're going to have some other fun lessons. Uh, so one comment I've seen twice is how are these different than the current lessons, the Digitizer's Dream course that's online? Um, think about it this way, this is more of a crash course. It's all three kind of condensed into one. Yes, you will learn a lot more from the three levels already yes. up there because they go into a lot more detail. Um, they're a lot longer, you're going to digitize a lot more designs. That value is, uh, sorry, that um, those lessons are invaluable. However, this workshop, even if you have taken those, it's a great way to kind of get a crash course refresh 
and there's the live element. You can yeah. ask questions live if there's something that hasn't clicked for you. Um, you can make sure that it does and get John to mm -hmm. personally, you know, explain it on webinar. There's a lot of a lot of perks. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that I think people really do like about yeah. the live event is the ability to, you know, do things and ask questions and get those answers that you don't necessarily get within just the interactive lessons. Yeah. And that's really why we're we're doing the live webinars because people who uh, you know, I'll, if you've been to one of my live sessions, you know I start out with some basic theory, and then we make sure that you know how to get around the program, and we give you the hotkeys, and we give you, you know, how to bring in artwork properly, and those are just repetitive things we do over and over again, but it is things that we need to spend some time laying in a foundation for, because yeah. you do that in every program. Then, after that, then we actually start digitizing. So if you uh, cut out the time that I am talking in a live session to the time that you're actually digitizing design, it might be you know six or seven hours out of the two days, mm -hmm. which to be honest, three webinars, two hours each, you know, it means we're gonna have six hours of live correspondence going on between the lessons that you do get to take your time and do. Yeah. Um, and if you've been in that live setting, you do know that if you are kind of a beginner, it can be a little bit uh, intimidating. And that's something I really try to get across to people in those classes is, you know, just relax. This isn't a race. Uh, you know, ease up. You learn more when you're not under pressure. And, you know, this really does alleviate all of those issues that people have. Yeah, we... Usually at the live workshops, we do see a fair number of people, usually I'd say 20, 25% who have done the actual Digitizer's Dream course come in. Um, what I can tell you is I always talk to them after, as John and I like to do, see how everyone enjoyed the workshop. Um, I've yet to hear a bad thing. You know, there will be new information that you're going to learn. Yeah. And in a slightly different way. Exactly. Sort of, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. A, and there, you know, learning from other quality educators, that's a good thing too. I, I do feel I'm, you know, very well qualified to teach what I teach, but I'm not going to say that I'm the only good person out there. There are other things that you can learn from others as well. Yep. So, uh, so to Sonia, yes, the first class will be February 8th, uh, 2020. The first webinar. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Class. Webinar. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Any other questions, James? Well, I, I really do appreciate you guys taking your valuable time and, and coming in on this. Uh, uh, as I said, Jesse and I are just super excited about this class coming up. And uh, I think it's going to, uh, to be honest, just be innovative and kind of revolutionize the way we do things as far as educating is concerned. Yeah, uh, I, I do feel we do a really good job with teaching people how to get past the learning curve. And it's just because of the experience and the amount of classes that I've done, I've been able to basically uh, help people in settings where it's a lot of times when we're doing the classes, they'll say to me, this isn't working, and they'll have an issue going on. And I can pretty much answer their question without even coming to look at what they're doing in their software because I've been there, done that so many times before. Okay, very good question. Who won? Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. This is this is it. And James is going through all the comments. And here's the thing: you always need to have somebody to blame. So James is pulling the name from the hat. And <laughs> yeah. So then, if you want to, you know, message him on Facebook if you have. Actually, here's his. The here's winner his, is. Here's his cell number. It is. <laughs> Oops. And the winner is Sherry Lamberth. Right. Sherry Lamberth, you have won the first seat on the new Virtual Digitizers Dream Workshop. And uh, we hope to see you there, and we hope to see lots of others of you there. Uh, again, remember, Jesse said, the, until, I guess, the end of the weekend, until Sunday yep. midnight, if you do want to sign up, uh, we will have a contest that we'll announce next week uh, for one lucky winner of one of our Diamond memberships. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I... Appreciate you guys attending, and we hope you have a, a blessed week. Thank you. Thank you very much.